Welcome back to Invest Global. Today we're going to do a deep dive on iExec RLC, the native token to this project that is very, very focused on the future of smart cities with things like fintech, health tech. I really love their forward looking um, lens on the blockchain space and on uh, really decentralized cloud computing. So we'll be going over all that and more, including their white paper, roadmap, Twitter, some things as far as sentiment goes. And one of the things I want to mention right off the bat is this project saw a crazy rise. And a lot of people were like, wait a second, you know, I, I identified this project fairly early. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to get into this early, but I mean, this was this crazy pump. And from what I remember, this is when it got listed on Coinbase. Now, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember when they got listed on Coinbase and it just absolutely exploded. Same with Anchor, a project that I've been in some for some time that allows you to basically uh, run a node without having a lot of technical knowledge. Um, you can basically just deploy a node from their platform, ANKR. I have a video on that, so definitely go check that out. But when these projects get listed on Coinbase, it's really that Coinbase bump. And uh, same with Binance. Binance has a similar effect. I would say Coinbase is a bit more. Um, but, uh, yeah, so overall, I think that is one thing to keep in mind for the token is it does have that on ramp. You know, if, if something is only on, um, Uniswap, it's only on decentralized exchanges, it's not listed on any centralized exchanges. Well, a lot of people coming into the space only know how to use centralized exchanges. They don't even know how to set up a web three wallet. They don't know how to set up a, you know, they don't know how to interact with decentralized finance protocols. They don't know how to do all these different things with decentralized exchanges. And that's one of those things where it's like there's a moat around a lot of these tokens. So to get in them early before they get listed on something like Coinbase or Binance can be a play. But you have to understand also with iExec RLC is the market cap right now is $270 million. And by the way, I'm going to return back here. I just wanted to uh, apologize for the car in the background here in Tbilisi, Georgia. But as I was saying... Uh, I, I just wanted to uh, to lay this out. Okay, what exactly is going on with their token? You know, why has it? Why did it see that massive rally? Um, and talk about okay, it does have this uh, kind of on ramp of people being able to enter in through Coinbase or through Binance, so it has a less friction. You know, there's there's a lot of friction when something is just listed on decentralized exchanges because you know you go tell your grandpa to. Uh, uh, go invest in this project. And uh, most likely, maybe he'll be able to set up a Coinbase account or a Binance account, but uh, setting up decentralized exchanges is a little bit harder. So uh, let's return back here and break down exactly what's going on. Um, they do have a great video that I recommend um, if you're confused, but basically throughout this video, I'll be breaking it down even further. It's, it's a really quick one for just very, very basic beginner um, kind of questions and, and overview things. Um, but yeah, so basically they, they describe themselves as the first decentralized marketplace for cloud resources. So they're for developers, providers, and token holders. So as a developer, you can use iExec. And by by the way, in this whole iExec ecosystem, when, it's, when I say R iExec RLC, RLC is that native token. So that's what we're looking over at over here on CoinGecko. Um, so yeah. Uh, you can use iExec to overcome blockchain limitations by executing your computations on a new distributed infrastructure for providers. As a provider, you can rent out your machine's computing power. Now, this is huge. This is something that I've talked about other projects that do this. You know, um, one of them was actually tapping into unused phone power. So think about, you know, every a lot of people, you know, I would say a majority of people, especially in the Western world, have a mobile device. Even here in like, uh, you know, the Eastern Bloc, Ukraine, Armenia, Georgia, um, even people that are like homeless, some of them have uh, have cell phones, especially, you know, in California, a majority of the homeless have cell phones. So it's like, man, all this unused computing power that's kind of sitting in your pocket can help run a decentralized blockchain network. And that that's, that's really what's going on. So you can rent out your machine's computing power and actually earn a passive income in this and not in some fiat currently currency that's being devalued rather in RLC. So monetizing it by executing tasks for applications. So, and then also for token holders, as a token holder, you can get into the world of crypto economy by trading RLC tokens whenever you want. So that's pretty obvious, you know, especially since it's listed on all these other exchanges, um, the IX, the iExec token. Um, we'll talk a about this a little bit more. Maybe we can uh, click this um, and pull that up, hopefully, for the tokenomics. So um, products. So the iExec marketplace is kind of their main um, flagship product. Um, so iExec introduced is, introduces a new paradigm for cloud computing. Cloud resources can be traded on a global market, just like any other commodity. Instant access to large capacity of computing power from uh, the provider offering the best rate. So iExec SDK. Um, I exec to offer CLI and JS libraries for developers. So that's, that's basically coding language. You have to understand that. Um, and, and for coding languages, basically the, the easiest way to do things instead of starting from scratch, just like if you're trying to learn something is tapping into a library of knowledge. And that's similar with um, code-based libraries, right? So it's, it's kind of like strings of code. Um, 
Anyways, so execute off-chain computations through the iExec decentralized cloud and overcome Ethereum scalability issues. Then the decentralized application store. So decentralized applications powered by iExec are featured on the decentralized application store. Developers can monetize their dApps and increase their visibility while users can execute these applications thanks to the marketplace. And then the data wallets. So um, data providers can monetize their valuable data assets or AI model data assets on the highest level of security. So again, guys, keep in mind, um, moving from web two to web three, I have multiple videos on this, but one of the things that a, a lot of these bro blockchain projects are doing with this web three um, that's, that's absolutely incredible is giving the power back to you. You know, with web 2.0, with things like Facebook, um, basically centralized companies, using you like I, the, anything that is free anything where you're hitting i i acknowledge terms and agreements you are the product so many people don't realize this you are the product of these companies and uh, they're monetizing your data you know facebook sells your data amazon sells your data to advertisers um netflix does this as well spotify does this. all these companies do this and um essentially you don't get paid for it you're just using the products and while a lot of people are like oh that's great um you know i can use the product then maybe there's a paid version uh but how am I getting paid? You know, I want to get paid for this. That's that's a beautiful thing that Brave allows you to do. So Brave, this this site that I always use, um, it's actually kind of like a shell around, uh, you can use DuckDuckGo in it, you can use Google in it, you can use whatever your current um, browser is, but use Brave kind of as the shell. And instead of the advertising get, advertisers getting paid, you get paid in the native BAT token. So this is the, the BAT BATS um, basic, basic attention token. So um, yeah, so moving on, I, I hope you understand that fundamentally why this is important, right? So it, it goes beyond these uh, these kind of things where it's like, yes, they're doing incredible things. Yes, this is potentially an interesting a play, but I think long term, what they're doing is incredible because everybody has this problem. It's a massive problem in the world that people don't understand that they are they're really getting uh, ripped off a little bit. Um, so, anyways, let's see. This is their. Uh, it's kind of strange how they have this roadmap. I will say, I like it when projects just have it nicely laid out on their on their home page. But they're using uh, Trello for this, so uh, I'd be curious. Maybe I can do a deep dive into their uh, roadmap. But they they have it all laid out here, which is kind of cool. So they say like, okay, all these things are done. You can click on each of these. It's kind of like a pin board, okay? So um, and then on the white paper, I did want to show you the team. So CEO and co-founder is Gillis Fedak, um, researcher in parallel distributed systems, and then co-founder Huawei or. Hai Wu He, a PhD, head of uh, Pacific Asian region. You can see all the faces there. I love when people are uh, kind of uh, focused on being, you know, front facing forward, right? Instead of just having anonymous founders, um, that, that's pretty awesome to see. So uh, they talk about the, some of the limitations of uh, different blockchain networks and how they're using this uh, kind of decentralized uh, cloud service. Um, yeah, so pretty awesome things over there. And then the RLC token, um, let's see. So let's break this down. Uh, what is RLC? As with any cryptocurrency, RLC can be secured and easily stored, transferred, traded, and divided um, to make payments. Simple to use. To access iExec resources you need, you may pay with RLC tokens and pay-as-you-go basis. So similar with like the ERC-20 network, um, you pay the gas fee, which is in Ethereum. Um, RLC is what you're going to pay when you're using this like iExec um, cloud computing uh, decentralized network. Okay, So RLC is the ERC-20 um, compliant digital asset on Ethereum. Um, widely adopted, 83 million RLC are in circulations, allowing businesses to begin their journey in the iExec ecosystem. Let's actually look at that. So circulating the max supply um, is always important to see. So circulating currently is 71 million 332. Max supply is 80, around 87 um, million tokens. I said 71 million, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, let's go back here. Um, yeah, I mean, they just break it down here. Pretty simple. And um, we can also see that on CoinGecko. I highly recommend you give them a follow here on Twitter. Also go follow us at investglobal underscore IO. We'll talk about many more things. Um, I'm always talking about blockchain, different global investment strategies. Yeah. So give us a follow there um, and give iExec a follow. So they've been doing cool things. Um, that way you can see as far as like updates go. And, um, you know, when, when, you, when there's these new listings coming on to like Poly, Polyonex, um, when the Coinbase listing happening, um, you could have potentially traded it on Binance and made a nice little gain there. So uh, these are all things as far as like sentiment goes that, you know, w when these things get put on um, on different exchanges, I more see that as sentimental um, analysis. I talked about that in the do your own research video, which, by the way, you need to make sure you're always doing your own research with any projects you find, not just on my channel, but anywhere on the Internet. Do your own research. 
link for that video down below in the description talking about fundamental analysis, technical analysis, sentimental and on-chain analysis. Okay. So right around what? 15 and three quarter uh, thousand people like this. So right around 15.7 thousand people like it um, on CoinGecko. That means they're tracking it. And then coin market cap, uh, or sorry, the market cap is $270 million while the 24 hour trading volume is right around $20 million. It's actually a great trading volume. I will say, you know, typically with, with a market cap around this, I'm recently, I talked about Akash. Akash only had a, about $1 million in trading volume. Although the Akash token is a bit different. It's not used as kind of a, it's first of all, it's not on Coinbase or anything like that. Um, it's not really on any big exchanges, but, uh, one of the things that it, it is doing is um, using that token kind of as a utility. Whereas with this, um, I, RLC is still a utility token, but it gets used more um, based on like how they have it set up. Okay, so we saw this kind of pump up here in 2018. Um, let's see, in this kind of bull run hype. Let's see, we're going to get $3.90. Right now, we've retraced back down to $3.78. So we could kind of bounce off, you know, of this uh, this level here since this is like, um, where we broke out of. So we did this kind of massive, massive pump up. It was very, very quickly, you know, a very, very quick pump um, to $12.96. So you could potentially get a nice little 3x gain if it returns to those highs, which most likely it will, um, in my opinion, especially because of all the, you know, factors we talked about in this video. So that's all for this one. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, hit the like button. Like I said, if you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Hit the notification bell because this is time-sensitive content. So just to recap, let me know in the comments if you have any questions with iExec RLC or if you have any uh, requests for another altcoin or really any other video topic. Um, yeah, so that's all for this one. Like, subscribe, button all, invest global, and until next time.